a lot of times we get to the fall and people say, boy, I'm hoping for a frost to even up my beans. And I'm always going, no way do I want that. I want the latest possible frost because that's when we always have the best yields. If you kill something off too early, well, now you've stopped the yield. You've stopped the finishing. You've stopped the fill. I don't want that. So that's the number one challenge I see with this whole desiccation talk. You just have to be really careful because you're number one going to spend money and number two, if you time it wrong, you're going to cost yourself a bunch of money. Plus the fact that now we've sprayed a herbicide over the top, which I don't really like that late in the season because now we have to worry about pre-harvest interval. We have to worry about residue in that plant. So there are a lot of downsides to this. So my number one caution for you here before we get into anything else is just be careful. Yeah, the timing is really, really important. So you don't hurt yield, but you're also trying to accomplish your purpose. Now that could vary a little bit depending on which product you choose, the timing on each one. So you're gonna find this right on the label when you want to put on a desiccant and it's a pretty fine line. So you've got to really scout. And to your point too, Brian, if the field is uneven, when do you apply the desiccant? Because part of the field's ready and part of the field is not. So if you're putting a desiccant out there, it's hard to get that time just right. 